Aloha. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you for coming to my live stream today. This is Master Paul and always grateful to be connecting with you. It is a Thursday. It is the uh, 27th day of July. I know the date well because it is my anniversary of my wife. So thank you for joining me on this day. We'll go out and go out tonight and have a nice meal and uh, we'll go out for a little drive today around the ocean in Hawaii. Go enjoy that as well. But uh, today I am here to serve you. And today is the fourth day, the final day in this series on gratitude. I hope you have enjoyed the previous three days. For those that are just tuning in, uh, I encourage you to take a little time to watch those or sign up for the podcast. You'll hear them next week. Um, but uh, on Monday, I talked about gratitude and our connection with our beloved Creator and all the beings of light. Uh, on Tuesday, it was gratitude for Mother Earth. And Wednesday, yesterday, we talked about gratitude in our relationships. And then today, I'll be talking about gratitude towards self and all the different ways that we dump on ourselves and how that's inhibiting us uh, from moving forward and being in the, in the place that we want to be. So I am very grateful for your presence today and so happy to be here to serve you. For all those that might not have time to stay, uh, if you uh, are intrigued by this and you'd like to know more, please uh, go to my Facebook page, hit the subscribe button. You'll know when I go live. And then like me, of course. Uh, and you can always come back to the page and watch the recording. If you are such a busy soul that you need podcasts, um, these are recorded about a week later. I download these tonight and tomorrow I'll do that. And then I convert them into MP3s and upload them on my website. And you can, uh, you can listen to them on your podcast players or receive them in your emails. Many different ways that you can do it that way. So again, that's for those that are new. Um, so I'm very grateful for the opportunity here to connect with you today. And I, I want to hear from you about the last couple of days on gratitude. I'd like to know uh, from those of you that have been tuning in these last few days, how has the, the different layers of gratitude and gratitude teaching served you? Um, did you see the connectivity between them and also the differences between them and how uh, each can be applied individually to bring us greater value in our life? What did it do for you? I'd like to hear from you. But in the meantime, I will continue to, uh, to chat with all of you until we see some of those comments. So thank you for joining. Thank you for also hitting the share button. Aloha and welcome to Candy. Aloha, Tanya. Welcome also to Susan Birchmore. Welcome Wanda. Welcome Jennifer. And welcome to uh, Lisa Carter. Aloha Lisa. Welcome also Suki Singh. Welcome NNC. Welcome Pamela Schubert. Aloha Maria Carella. And welcome Becky. Welcome Jennifer. Welcome Margaret Green. And love and light to everybody. Welcome also Emma McLaughlin. Welcome Kristen Strachan. Welcome Kristen Rojas. Welcome also to Ari. And welcome Don Robinson. Welcome Angie Taylor. So I'll mention in the beginning and I'll mention at the end that for a lot of us, being grateful for ourselves, being grateful for our life, it's... Uh, it can be quite challenging, quite difficult sometimes. It, it can literally feel very painful. Uh, and we find ourselves in a place of depression or a place of, um, of severe self-deprecation. Um, this is a very aggressive form of karma in many ways. And this is also why uh, some of you will show up to this live stream because you recognize this is a deficit, so to speak, in your life. Save $100, guys. Um, this is, these live streams are never about generating income, but I have been blessed to offer miracle level blessings and uh, there's really no reason to struggle so hard so long. You can receive tremendous, tremendous blessings for a very small uh, stipend. So I leave you with that thought as I move forward. Welcome to Becky Lafave. 
Uh, I see that Facebook for some reason has made it difficult to share. So it may be that you'll have to right click on the video. I think it creates a video URL that way. You can let me know if that works and then you can share what pops up when you right click. That's the only thing I can recommend at this time. I'm not quite sure why uh, it's not allowing it. Welcome also to Stephanie. Welcome to Deborah Anderson. Welcome Master Anne. And welcome also to uh, any of the souls that I have missed. Welcome Jessica Parker. Sarah Jessica Parker. Ha ha. I get the joke there. We'll figure out who you are, Sarah. So thank you for joining. Let us all go ahead and connect heart to heart, soul to soul. Facebook has its very unique way, its unique algorithm of gathering people. For those that watch on their phones, it could be a bit on the more difficult side. You pretty much have to have 4G or a very strong Wi-Fi signal because we're streaming in very high quality. So let us connect. Place our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. Drop our left hand in front of our heart center. Let's keep the right hand gently pointed towards heaven. This is a, a signal, if you will. Heaven says, ah, there is a soul that is connecting from heaven to the heart center. Let us pay attention to that soul. Dear our beloved divine, the Tao and Source, we love you, we honor you, respect you. We ask for your presence as appropriate at this time. To the soul of all of our heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, angels and healing angels and archangels, masters and ascended masters, lamas, gurus, saints, sifus, buddhas, and bodhisattvas, beloved Jesus, beloved Mother Mary, we love you all, we honor you all, appreciate you all, we invite your presence today as well. We ask you to please come to sit in each of our heart centers to bless each and every one of us to further develop and awaken to love and gratitude for self. Please bless us today to reveal some of the root blockages that inhibit us from aligning our soul, heart, mind, and body to our soul and what it wants for our soul journey. Please bless us to align our soul, heart, mind, and body to our beloved Creator. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dear the Source, Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony, I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. Can you please turn on? Dear the Soul of all souls in one ling, all universes, love you, honor you, appreciate you. We invite you to turn on your source soul song of love, peace, and harmony, and to join us as we chant to serve. So for all those that are caught up in the inability to share, thank you for the opportunity to share. Thank you for your consideration. But if it's not allowing, let us just go with the flow. Let us fully be present and connect to the song of love, peace, and harmony so that we can serve from our heart and soul so they can receive the greatest blessings. The sharing can always be done later. Let us continue. Lu la lu la li. La lu la la li. Lu la lu la li lu la. Lu la li lu la. Lu la li lu la, wo ai wo xian er ling, wo ai chuan ran lei, wang ling rong har mu shi sheng, sheng ai ping an er xie. Xiang ai ping an xie. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. 
one more round. Please connect. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Why, wash in our lane? Oh, I run, run, lay. Wang, li, rung, her, mu, shir, shang. Shang, I, ping, on, Shang I ping on a sea. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So the, for those that are new, just tuned in, this was the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony. And it is an incredible mantra. We used it several times this week to offer blessings, extraordinary blessings. And it is a mantra that can assist you in times of stress, in times of difficulty, in times of pain and suffering. You can also use it to bless others. It is truly one of the most extraordinary, miraculous healing mantras unknown to man. Hopefully you will help it to make it more known. If you watch Kristen's posts, she's given you more information how to learn more about it. So thank you all who have tuned in this last 15 or so, 10 or 15 minutes here. Welcome also to uh, Michael and Jamie Dodd. Welcome, Victor. Welcome to Kathleen Monahan. Welcome, Dong Tu. Welcome, Michelle. And welcome also to Robret. Welcome, Dan. And uh, welcome also to Shirley. Thanks for trying to hit the share button. Uh, sounds like Facebook's messing with the algorithms again. So we're not going to worry too much about that. Um, who, who needs to see this will see it. If you uh, have friends or family that you know would resonate with this topic, you can always copy that URL and share it to their page or share it to them in a private message. So welcome also to Linda. Welcome Julia Abbott. <clears throat> Thank you all for joining. If you missed the last couple of days, very powerful. Yesterday was very powerful for gratitude for relationships. Uh, I'm going to touch on that for just a few minutes because um, it does tie into today's topic, which is gratitude to self. So in a reminder of yesterday, um, when I was, when I offer the wisdom and teachings, uh, a good chunk of it is in flow. Uh, I'm receiving information, I'm sharing the information. Um, some of it makes sense simply because it's psychologically pure. It just makes sense. Some of it makes sense because it's soul wisdom, meaning the soul world has brought through that wisdom and it touches your soul directly. And some of it makes sense uh, with our different um, ways of experiencing. And what I was shown yesterday, literally in my third eye as I was uh, sharing this wisdom, was images. And I was told to share those images. So I'll remind those that did not watch that. And those that did, this would be a good reminder. Uh, when we are not in a place of gratitude um, in our life for those people, for those conditions that enter our life, that means we are not in the moment, basically. Because if we were in the moment and if we were uh, truly being on our spiritual journey, we would be able to, to see gratefulness in all things good and all things that we have judged as unpleasant. And the imagery that came through yesterday was the reason why is because we are either stuck in the past or we are stuck in the future. When we're stuck in the past, we are in a place of, you know, um, oh my God, you know, why did this happen to me, blah, blah, blah. And we don't want to move from that because there's a trade-off, there's a payoff there. And the visual that was given me was like a donkey sitting down uh, on, on his tail end 
and the owner trying to pull the donkey to get up and the donkey's refusing. That's very much like getting stuck in the past and, and refusing to move forward and running your life by all of the suffering you've had in the past. Because when you focus on that, that's of course what you're going to create in your future. So that was about 20 minutes of yesterday, uh, snippled down to about one minute. We also talked about the future and how it impacts us because we stay in a place of fear or apprehension or worry or concern uh, or all things that are what if based, which is also only becomes a reality because we put focus on it. So in essence, as little creators, as um, subdivided souls of our creator, we have been given free will, the free will to choose to focus on the past, the free will to choose to focus on the future, uh, which is never bad but if we focus on the past let it be to give us uh, wisdom if we focus on the future let it be a positive focus so it's not negative or bad to focus on past or future you want to pay attention to what you're focusing on most of the people focusing on the future if they're not creating the future they want it's because their focus is on fear worry concern um, and, and all things that are what if based and the message and the visual I received for the future was somebody being pulled around like the cow with the ring in their nose. So on one hand, we're the donkey that sits on our tail and complains and whines about it and doesn't move forward. On the other hand, when we're stuck in the future, we're like letting our fears drag us around and not have an enjoyable life and certainly not manifest a good one. If you missed that, go back and watch it in its entirety. There was also very powerful blessings offered. Now, we're going to use that to dovetail into today's uh, wisdom teachings and blessings. Aloha, Nicole. Welcome. Thank you for joining. And Aloha, Maddie. Welcome, Jessica. And if Chloe's with you, welcome to Chloe as well. Today's teaching is gratitude for self. Gratitude for our life. And that can be very, very difficult uh, sometimes because most of us uh, are, are, are not having, you know, uh, one of those lives that you read about in story, you know, fairy tale books. And so it requires a place of oh, intelli intelligent awareness, basically, uh, soul based awareness to move into a place of gratitude. So Dove telling off yesterday's wisdom about being in the past and being in the future, the present is obviously where we need to be. There's all these cute little quotes. Um, the, the, the gift is the present, blah, blah, blah. Still not so easy sometimes when we're uh, wallowing in our emotions and when we have unpleasant relationships in our life, etc. But the message is this. When we can and consciously do our best effort to find whatever we can to be grateful for, in essence, what we are doing is we are shifting our future. We are shifting that future moment. We are shifting the future five minutes, 10 minutes. We are shifting the future two hours in front of us. We are shifting the possible accident on the freeway that could be coming at us in a few days from now. We are shifting the possible uh, unpleasantries that, that could be happening with our health or wellness in a year or so from now. In other words, we have in the moment the capability of shifting the future. In every moment, we have total control or we're totally being controlled. What are we being controlled by? Past or future. So how do we remain grateful in this moment? How do we remain grateful about ourselves and what we have? There are a couple of different approaches, much of which I have taught already, but we're going to drill down on it a little bit so that we can have some real practical applications. One of them is uh, the obvious, gratitude for what we learn. Now, I wanted to have some soul food for you, some food for thought, so I went around the internet and I pulled off a, a, a very um, thoughtful list of things to be grateful for personal things to be grateful for. Some of these may or may not resonate with you, but I believe that all of them will resonate with each one of us on some level. And so I encourage you to um, close your eyes and listen to each one of these things that you could consider being grateful for. Okay? And this is for yourself. So close your eyes.
I'm not perfect, but I'm thankful and grateful for my imperfections. I'm thankful that I realized that I was put here to become aware and to heal all the things that my soul wants me to heal. I am grateful for striving to be a better person for myself and for others and for this planet. I am grateful for my strength and my perseverance. Think about that. How beautiful does that feel? Say that again. I am grateful for my strength and my perseverance. Again, I am grateful for my strength and my perseverance. Doesn't that feel good? Gratitude has some, some amazing power. Continue. I am grateful for all the growth I have experienced and standing in my truth. Very powerful. Many things to be grateful for yourself. I am grateful for recognizing my worth. I am a beautiful, loving being. And I deserve kindness. I deserve respect. I deserve dignity. I deserve love. As everyone does. And I am grateful for acknowledging that I deserve these. I am grateful for learning the lessons of seeing others in the same light that I see myself. I am grateful that I recognize that I am compassionate when I can be. I am grateful for the challenges that have happened in my life because they have shaped me and they have molded me and they have made me into the beautiful person that I am. I will repeat that one. I am grateful for all of the challenges in my life for they have helped shape me and mold me into who I am. I am grateful for seeing myself through others so that I can become aware of the things that I need to work on. What does that mean, seeing myself through others? Sometimes our kids repeat back to us the things we don't really want to hear, but guess who they heard it from? We can be grateful for the opportunities to learn through others those things that we need to improve upon. I am grateful for learning to accept myself as I am. Let's say you're not there yet. I am grateful for each and every day learning more and more to accept myself as I am. I am grateful that I have learned to nurture myself. Nurture without feeling guilty. Ah. If you haven't, you need to be grateful for trying to nurture yourself without feeling guilty. I am grateful that I have found my voice and am continuing to discover what it sounds like. I am grateful that I am strong enough now to stand up for myself, to help myself, and to help others. I am grateful that I am able to say no when I want to say no and yes when I want to say yes. I am grateful for learning to accept my flaws. For some people that's a very tough one. 
I am grateful to be open and receiving, able to receive. I am grateful for all the times that I have fallen back, slipped back into old patterns and behaviors and I see what they are teaching me. They allow me to move back into the present. Now it's your turn. Each person watching, I would like you to state one or more things that you're grateful for to yourself, about yourself. A major challenge maybe that you've overcome. It's important and we can support each other in this gratitude. We can support each other in our successes, in our striving to move forward regardless of how difficult things may appear to be on the surface. Gratitude is recognizing that we are a soul and in this physical experience our soul is giving us a plethora of opportunity to be love. It is when we are not in alignment with that that we find ourselves stuck in the places we're not enjoying. Each one of these is an opportunity to be grateful for each experience, whether it's actually being able to stop and smell roses or whether it's a near miss of an auto accident or whether it's your child coming home with some uh, message that might not be fun to hear. Everything is an opportunity to be grateful for what we have and the lessons we can learn, the forgivenesses that can be offered that minimize anything that appears negative. Everything is an opportunity to be grateful for what we have learned and what we can learn and how we can minimize the future impacts if it's negative or how we can maximize the future impacts of anything positive. We are all conscious creators. You would not be watching this if you are not a conscious creator. I'm, I'm still waiting for all your feedback. I'm just chatting in the meantime. I want to know what you're grateful for. Please share. We are all conscious creators. If you consciously create gratitude, what do you think your future would be filled with? If you show gratefulness for things that appear tough on the surface and you convert it to a perspective, don't you think that whatever that unpleasant thing on the surface, whatever it appears to be, when you ad address it with gratefulness, don't you think that the span of time it shows itself as uncomfortable will be dramatically minimized? We have to be conscious creators. Gratitude for everything that enters our life. Gratitude for our fortitude. Gratitude for our strength. Gratitude for our efforts and striving. Gratitude for uh, heaven guiding your soul to stumble across this life stream. And the service, not I, but the service the wisdom has brought you because I'm just a deliverer of the wisdom that Master Shah has brought and he doesn't take credit for it, he gives heaven the credit. So we gratitude for the wisdom that came through heaven, through Master Shah, through Master Paul to you. But most importantly, gratitude for your soul guiding you to where this wisdom could come to assist you on your journey. And wherever your soul will assist you to next, gratitude for that. There are so many areas that we can find gratitude. As I read some of your gratitudes, some of them are cursory, some of them are deep, some of them you really mean it, and some of them you're having trouble. You're just like, ah, I, I'm, well, you know, I saw one of them, I'm not going to repeat it because I don't want someone to be embarrassed, but it wasn't about self. It was for something outside of self. This is about gratitude for self today, guys. Go deep. You need to work on yourself. 
find something gratitude, grateful for self. What have you done that you can be grateful to yourself for? Try not to repeat what has already been stated. If you make it a game, a personal self-awareness growth, personal, um, I'm sick and tired of being miserable and stuck in the past and stuck in the fears of the future, I am going to play a personalized gratitude game you know, involve the mother, involve the father, involve the brothers and sisters and your best friend and your kids. And, and you know, tell each other, I, you know, I need, I need two best friends that are going to send me a text every day and hold me accountable to send them one every day of something I'm grateful for and we can't repeat what we said. Why not? Okay? We need to be able to... Uh, force ourselves out of our patterns because that's all this is when you're in a place of struggle it's a pattern of accepting what is from the past that is causing you to make a false future a future that is built on the past which is creating fears in your future and it's inhibiting you from being honoring of yourself it's inhibiting you from manifesting a spouse uh, if you don't have one, it's inhibiting you from having good relationships if you don't have one. It's inhibiting you from money if you don't have it. It's inhibiting you from good health if you don't have it. S being stuck is not where we want to be. So I'm going to read some of these. So Deborah Anderson says she's grateful for that she's a loving being. I honor you for being a loving being, Deborah. Jessica says she's grateful for being connected to Mother Nature. I honor your connection to Mother Nature, Deborah. Maddie, she's grateful for her strength, rising above. Excellent. Congratulations. Uh, welcome, Bibi. Welcome, Atena. Welcome also to Alexandria. Welcome, RD. Aloha. Jessica says she's grateful for challenges in her life because it has made her to be an empathetic being. Yes, very important. Very often, heaven gives us hard lessons so that we can be there for others. I've got news for all of you. Those of you who are suffering financially, you have learned through all of that stress and all of that struggle some very good and hard lessons but very good ones. Those who are wealthy and life is easy, when and if the market takes a dump, which from my opinion is not if, it absolutely will happen simply because of the electronics, if nothing else. If the sun hiccups, electronics go kaput, right? If, if there's a hack into the system, electronics go kaput. Um, you know, if the global elite ever fall, electronics go kaput. The possibility of financial failure is not if, it's just when. But those of us who suffer financially now, we're going to be the ones that are going to have zero issue with it because we've already been dealing with it. The other 98 percentile of the world that has, uh, not, not any, but the other the rich folks that are not respectful and honoring and not wise and aware, they will not have learned the lessons we've learned. Heaven is always preparing us so that if and when events occur, we are the most prepared. We are the survivors. There's so much to be grateful for there. What do we focus on instead? Change perspective. Robret, I'm becoming more grateful for my challenges, for those challenges are their lessons. Yes. And that's, we need to adopt that. Linda, she's grateful for financial blessings. Angie, so grateful now for being aware of just how much perceivedness she's managed to have striving forward in truth and meant to be in showing others how to heal from within. Grateful for the struggles. Sometimes it's hard to say that, you know, I'm grateful for the struggles. But again, listen to the wisdom these last two days, guys. Struggles are, are, are false evidence appearing real. Fear, false evidence appearing real. We have to stay in this place of gratitude. It shifts our future creations as struggles dissolve. I am grateful for giving myself another chance, allowing myself to fail and discover my resilience. 
forgiveness practice. You hear me every day do it. Why? It dissolves the karma that brought us the stuff that's creating the struggle. Focus on a positive future, we create a positive future. Do the forgiveness practice, less unpleasant stuff to mess with our positive future. It's simple math, guys. Candy says, I'm grateful for being open to her spiritual path. Susan is having difficulty thinking about uh, anything uh, positive about herself in the moment. I'm grateful that I am working on finding something positive because that's the first step. Angie, grateful to finally not feel guilty for doing the best she can in her soul journey. Alexandria, she's grateful for hard soul lessons she's learned. They are a gift and she's transformed because of these gifts. Grateful for the sense of humor, says Robert. Suki, she's grateful for learning the truth of bonding through lots of ups and downs. Come no words to express what she really wants to. Shirley, she's grateful for the challenges of her childhood, giving her experiences that she's now used to help others. It's a brilliant, uh, brilliant um, way of looking at it. How many people suffered significant childhood trauma and that could, could have been a soul-based choice in which the purpose was so so many other souls can be benefited. Uh, Jessica, she's grateful for being a loving mother and, and children is loving as well. Welcome Silver Rose. Becky Lefab, grateful for being able to love wholeheartedly and trustworthy also. Many excellent insights here, wonderful. Thanya, it's the weirdest thing ever that I don't have a video nor audio. Okay, we'll move on from that. Uh, Wanda, she's grateful for surviving insurmountable odds. Yes, grateful for learning uh, what she no, no longer wants to be. Grateful for learning uh, the great wisdoms of uh, how important light and light side is. Grateful for all of the things that have brought about the connections to light that is available now and so forth. Grateful for opening the heart. Okay, not so difficult really. Is it? Sometimes the answer is yes. I put it out there once again. If we have gratitude difficulties, it's karma. Karma, 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 karma. Do your practices. If you want the shortcut, receive the blessings. $100, very reasonable. Save you 30, 40 uh, years of your own uh, work. Okay? Just do the shortcut, a lot easier. Put aside $20 every paycheck, whatever you gotta do. Receive the blessings save the suffering all right um, now we're going to do a practice you've all received transmissions uh, we've all received the source transmission of love peace and harmony some people yesterday received the Tao song of love peace and harmony transmission for those that missed that go subdivide to bless everybody that's watching today listening today and we're going to use uh, this mantra love peace and harmony to clear our blockages to self gratitude okay all right so let us put our hands in soul light soul service hand position dropping our left hand in front of our heart center closing our eyes fully connecting repeat after me Dear all the downloads and treasures that I have received, including the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony. I love you, I honor you, I appreciate you. Can you please offer blessings as appropriate to help me clear my blockages for gratitude to self? I am very, very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dear the soul, so for all those that are having trouble with video, our eyes are closed. We're doing a healing blessing now. Close your eyes. Just listen. <clears throat> Continue to repeat. Dear all souls in all time, if I have kept you from having uh, conditions in which you could have gratitude from my thoughts, words, or actions, if I have brought conditions upon you where it was almost impossible for you to be grateful, if I have uh, thought negatively about you and you were only looking to be appreciated, I sincerely, sincerely apologize. <clears throat> Dear all souls in all time, if I or my ancestors have done anything 
that has kept us, kept uh, you from moving forward in your soul journey, loving yourself, honoring yourself, appreciating yourself, respecting yourself. I sincerely apologize. Please forgive me. Please forgive my ancestors. Dear my own soul, dear the soul of my child self, I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. Please forgive me for not awakening sooner and faster to your beauty, to your love, to your kindness and tenderness, to your perfection. Please forgive me for not recognizing that you are and have always been perfect. And please forgive me for saying unpleasant things to myself about myself. Please forgive me, my beloved soul, my inner child, for all of the times I have spoken negatively, unlovingly, derogatorily to myself about myself. I forgive myself. I release myself any guilt that I have. I forgive myself for any times I have not spoken lovingly to myself. So now we will chant love, peace, and harmony to ourself. What's the first line? I love my heart and soul. I am going to just repeat that line again and again and again, but we'll use the mantra. You will catch on very quickly. Place one hand on your heart center. Place the other hand on your lower abdomen. And with your greatest love, send love to yourself. Please repeat with me. I love my heart and soul. I love my heart and soul. I love my heart and I love my soul. I love my heart and soul. I love my heart and soul. With all your heart, send yourself love. I love my heart and soul. I love my heart and soul. I love my heart and I love my soul. I love my heart and soul. I love my heart and soul. I love my heart and soul. I love all my heart and soul. I love my heart and I love my soul. I love my heart and so I love my heart and soul with all your heart and soul I love my heart and soul I love my heart and soul I love my heart and I love my soul. I love my heart and soul. I love my heart and soul. Three more times. I love my heart and soul. 
I love my heart and soul. I love my heart and I love my soul. I love my heart and 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 I love my soul. I love my heart and soul. I love my heart and soul. Silently give yourself a huge hug. I am so grateful to you. Say your name. I am so grateful to you, Paul for all that you have accomplished in this life. You have survived incredible odds, very difficult conditions, and you are still an incredibly beautiful, strong, and loving person. I am incredibly grateful for your strength, your tenacity, your love, your compassion, your service to others, I am so grateful to you for all that you do for me. You are so, so beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. How you feel? Feel a little bit better now? A little more grateful? A little more honoring of self? I hope this has served you. There are many souls that uh, were not able to join today because Facebook uh, had some hiccups regarding the sharing. From the teaching, from the Tao wisdom and Tao teachings, we would say that this was such a powerful teaching that the darkness did not want it to be shared because it will save so many souls. It will help so many souls. It will awaken so many souls. Darkness does not want that. Light side does. So thank you for trying to share. And at the end of this, it should easily be shareable because it will be on your timeline. So I ask that favor to share it in groups or in uh, your family and friends, especially those of you you know that can benefit from you from this. So I am going to go enjoy my anniversary uh, meal tonight with my wife. I thank you all for coming today. I remind you there are blessings available that can release self-worth blockages. These crown chakra blessings, they are the most powerful blessing I have to offer uh, for all of those self-worth issues, self-love issues, lack of confidence issues, issues about gratitude. Uh, they will save you lifetimes of suffering. Let me put it that way. Very affordable, only $100. Contact me, uh, Facebook, live stream, um, excuse me, Facebook Messenger, my email. You can reach me through my website listed above. I will be back next week, same time. I invite you this weekend to come to the Dao Chong in Hawaii. It is extraordinary, the opportunities that will be available at that. That's uh, this Saturday morning, 8 a.m. Hawaii time, 11 a.m. Pacific time, 2, a, uh, 2 in the afternoon in Eastern time, 8 p.m. European time. Uh, and so if you can make that, can't put enough emphasis on, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. It's a grand opening of the Dao Yuan Chang. It's a sacred energy field. And uh, you can find more at, uh, at the website, drshaw.com forward slash Hawaii. That's drsha.com forward slash Hawaii. And if I know my beautiful helper, uh, Kristen, she's probably already grabbing that link and posting it on the chats. Okay? Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We will see you next week. Bye-bye, everybody.